Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome back to another birthday week special, uh, where we're going to be playing Felix the Cat. This is a game that I had uh, way back on my old Game Boy. Uh, never really knew anything about Felix the Cat until I played this game. Uh, I was too young to know, uh, and too and born too late for Felix to really be part of uh, pop culture at the time, I guess. Anyway, let's just start the button. This is kind of a, a strange game. Um, it's a platformer uh, where you play as the titular Felix the Cat with his magic handbag. I get mo I've got most of my Felix knowledge off like context clues. Um, for whatever reason, he has this special punching uh, button. He can't jump on on top of enemies' heads, or else he will die, just like that. Um, but he can punch them, which we're going to do. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to be playing this uh, this week, seeing how far we get in here. I don't. I did look up like how long this game usually is, and not sure we'll be able to get through the entire thing in the week. Uh, not sure we'll be able to do, sorry, sorry, pad out this week uh, with the entire game, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The game's got some interesting physics to it, to it though. Um, you notice the Felix sort of moves up and down these hills like so. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Um, but what's weird are the transformations that he goes through when he grabs this this M power up, which I think you can get from collecting enough of these little Felix tokens. Uh, oh, I don't know why I didn't do that. That was strange. Uh, so yeah, you collect enough Felix tokens, you get that power up um, that uh, transforms you into. Well, I think there's like four transformations you can go through. They're all pretty strange. Um, I don't know what the milk's for either, but I suppose we'll, we'll learn that when we get through it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right. So the first uh, animation, the first transformation is with like the magician style. I definitely hit that guy while I was doing my thing. What the hell? Also, the game lags a lot. I don't I, like. I don't know. I know how a Game Boy can like lag, but here it does. So got these happy, these happy little trees and that weirdly smiley block. We jump into the magic handbag. We get a bonus stage where we can collect some coins, and usually this, this is the best place to get power-ups. Uh, I am currently covered in wires right now because I've got headphones in. I've got the wires from uh, the mic and everything else. Uh, my phone is currently charging, um, at least trying to charge because it's really it's an old phone. Uh, it's three years old, which in phone terms is an old phone. Uh, there we go. Now we got our new, new, pa our new power up, the car, which fires um, bows, I guess. Sure. The levels are also pretty short. Uh, you'll notice in the bottom corner when I'm in one of the transformations, there's a bunch of hearts. Uh, for whatever reason, these power ups have like timers on them, and fuck. And the controls for this game are really weird. They don't, they don't feel necessarily quite right. Fuck me. Okay. It's also a surprisingly difficult game. Um. All right. Because you can't just like jump on enemies as you usually would with Mario. Instead, you um punch. Them. Fucking hell. It's one hit kill. One hit kill, just like just like any other really old platformer from this era. Also, his movements in the air are kind of weird, like he only has one speed. Uh, when he's not lagging. So if you try and manoeuvre in the air, he just fucking goes everywhere. The enemies are strange too, so you've got to really time these platform jumps really carefully. Uh, okay, there we go. Good, good, we're good. The, the power-ups have like a, sort of a, another hit, which is good. Just like, just like Mario, I suppose. It's like any regular Mario game. And we're already up to the car. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the tank at some point, uh, which we'll do it. Which hopefully we'll get in a sec. Nope. So much easier with it when you've got a projectile. The second, the the, the magic. Oh god, this one takes a few hits. The magic staff power is absolute garbage. It's so hard to hit with. Come on, I want that. I want that coin. Give me that coin. Give me that coin. Come on. Die, please. There we go. I think the milk might be used to... Uh, 
milk might be used to um, increase the amount of time we have with this. Ugh. Okay, so the tank's pretty good, although the so yeah, it fires off these these balls, which I think kill those dudes in single hits. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, they do. So it's an extra powerful shot, which um, does more damage, but it has this really annoying arc and a slight delay to your shot too. I mean, like I said, this game's a bit strange. It's not it's not a typical platformer. Uh, especially considering the huge amount of lag, and I am really cold right now. Uh, an apparent leaps of faith too. Hmm. Don't really know how we're supposed to do that. Oh, it did send me all the way back to the start of the level, did it? Oh, good God. Okay. Yeah. This can, this this may this may take us the entire week to uh, to do. It is one of the few games of my childhood that I actually finished. Whether because it was just one of the easiest, or probably one of the shortest. Uh, do we still transform? Yeah, we did. I was a bit worried there. I thought maybe we hadn't transformed. I have to say the car is probably the best transformation you can do. It does have the, the weaker shot that doesn't go very far, but it does, you know, it doesn't have that stupid arc or any shot delay to it. Oh, I guess that guy got. Fucking invincible for a second there. Let's we'll get that. We don't really need it. Damn these weird kills. Ooh, let's try and jump over that guy. Yeah. Ooh. I was a bit worried about that one. Now back in the tank. So yeah, the tank. The tank is the, the final power up you get. So much lag. Okay. Oh god, I didn't think we were going to make it. Pixel perfect jumps. And we're jumping into a boss. Who gets invincibility? And there's also... I have no idea what the fuck he even is. What is he? Is he got some kind of vine guy? I don't, I don't know. I generally do not know what the hell that guy was. Um, oh, we got poo. So that's good. And a good little laugh from Felix. Are we doing a... Okay, yep. We're doing a sky level now. It's good music, though. I think, are these guys... Can you kill these guys? Yeah, you can. It's not Kirby rules where you can't shoot. Yeah. I think so. But yeah, this one's... I mean, this has got its own set of transformations. You've got, um... You've got Umbrella Felix, and you've got... Uh, balloon Felix with his um, frisbees, I guess. They kind of look like clouds, but I'm going to assume they're frisbees. And then finally, we've got Aeroplane Felix. And this doesn't control the way you'd think it would. It controls like a fucking water level where you have to keep spamming the A button to, to keep flying. But yeah, air, uh, air, air level Felix doesn't have a lot of transformations. Just has the, the base, the, the three different transformations. Definitely a weird one. Fairly easy level, I must have to admit. But much easier than the other one. I think the main problem with the last level was just the platforming. It was just a, um, a mess. Just seems like whenever you have more than two. When the two enemies on screen, it just goes completely to shit. And we're in. Level complete. Level done. I feel like we might already be sort of... Oh, it's the same unit. We might already sort of be like... At the end? I can't remember how many levels this, this game is. I might... Throw in another game this week if, uh, if this doesn't go through. If this doesn't take take as long as I thought. Uh, yeah. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. I thought. Okay, right. That's fine. I thought. I thought that when you died, you um, you lost. You went back to regular Felix, but I guess you. That's pretty good. There's a dog here. Or a very Disney-style dog in a way. 
Okay, no, he's another one of those multi-hit enemies. But yeah, let's jump in. Oh, fuck, there was a fucking heart in there. Whatever. We'll pull that at the end of the level. Um, I think we might finish this game in two episodes, which is a bit annoying because I hope to stretch this out for the entire week. But I do have another game lined up if we ever get to that point. Uh, I have been RetroJ, and I will see you next time.